<laughs> cool, cool, cool. What's going on, Sarah? Hi. Um, I'm good. I have to start out with um, your thoughts on Sharif setting you up like you did uh, for that long day. I guess you're about to Yeah, you know, Sharif, um, I love Sharif's game. I've been watching Sharif for a long, long time since, you know, he's in high school and doing his thing here in Atlanta. Um, but, you know, obviously great to play with him and obviously, you know, nice to have him set me up as he did. Um, talked about the play a little bit before, but even even he said he threw me, he thought he threw me a little too high. So um, I'm just glad I was, you know, was able to go up there, get it, make a nice highlight play and uh, finish it out. What does it take to get guys like DeAndre and uh, have them 100% and how good is it to get those guys back out there and you know, It's good. You know, uh, we need those guys healthy to, to win games and to be competitive. And, you know, we want them to catch their rhythm as early as they can so, we, you know, we can be successful. Um, as early as we can as well. You know, those guys are vital to, to our success. <laughs> you know, I got that question a couple times already. I, I'm trying to, you know, we'll see. We'll see what the, you know, what the people want. If, you know, I feel like I get some more, you know, uh, crazy amount of people asking I might, but for right now I'm trying to keep it, you know, try to keep it cool, keep it preseason. What's it like having to get Cam when he dropped forward? Uh, we loved it. We all love Cam. We all love to see Cam get going. You know, I feel like if you just look at the bench, you know, from when Cam was out there getting his buckets and doing this thing, uh, we all love to support him and watch him grow and, and get better. Um, him as well. We, we need Cam to be, you know, great to be successful. Can you tell the difference whether you're watching, whether you're out there with this guy? Can you tell the difference when DeAndre and Cam are out there doing what they do defensively? I mean, I know I don't want to get specific. Of course, you know, you see it a couple of times with them just stopping their defenders. You know, a lot of times you'll, you'll be watching them defend and, and they'll wall up their defenders or, you know, get a hand on the ball and stuff. And that's what you want to see from your perimeter defenders, you know, getting gritty um, and trying to just get after the ball as they as they do very, very well. So you know, we want to see more of that. Coach, uh, you spoke a lot about the conditioning that you not quite all the way there. Uh, from your perspective, what do you think it's going to take for you guys as a team to be you know, coach is perfectionist. I don't think he's ever going to necessarily uh, think we're in the best of shape ever, I, I could feel like. But, um, you know, you try to just take what he says and read between the lines. You know, this means we're going to be back in the gym, working hard, um, just trying to better ourselves and, and you know, prepare for the, the regular season as, you know, preseason is preseason. So I'm um, just trying to keep looking forward. We have one question on Zoom. Yes, sir. We'll go to Bria Janelle on Zoom. Hey, John. Uh, this time last year, a lot of things looked a lot different, um, obviously, at the start of the season. How good does it feel to simply just have fans back in the stands and cheering you guys to kick off preseason? No, it's amazing. You know, we love our fans here in Atlanta. You know, I feel like the last couple of years has been a, um, you know, a renaissance, a revolution of the fans trying to come back into State Farm Arena now. So preseason, regular season, postseason, we'd love to see our fans in the arena cheering for us. Um, you know, we appreciate every single one of them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. wow. Next from Malik Brown. Hey, John. Uh, one of Sharif's biggest strengths is definitely his playmaking. So when you're on the court with him, do you really see much of a difference when, between him and Trey as far as playmaking? Um. You know, yes and no, you know, as, as being a guard in a, in a big, you know, certain positions in certain areas, you know, are, are sort of just natural. Uh, but obviously they do have a different flow and they do have, you know, certain areas that they're looking for certain things. Um, but I feel like it's for me to, to just build that chemistry with Sharif and, you know, try to use some of our chemistry, my chemistry with Trey to sort of, you know, hopefully help guide my way through it. That's it for Zoom. Thanks, JC. All right. Thank you all.